Hello, Dwarfs of High. My name is Warwick Davis. I'm an actor. It smells. It smells. Awesome. I think you find it's the bin. An entrepreneur. Signed DVDs of The Office, only 30 quid. Soon to be divorced. I wanted to be a nurse. Do we really need any more nurses? Oh, and I've got a massive tax bill. Would you be better off dead? Yes. <laughs> I'm out flat hunting this morning. I'm tired of crashing with friends. I'm 41 years old. I need a new crib. The estate agents will always try and screw you. Now, you want them to think they need you a lot more than you need them. You know, so if they say, nice place, isn't it? You go, hmm, not sure. But even if it's perfect, always find a problem. You understand? Yep. This is how we'll play it. You're my right-hand woman and you ask all the questions. It'll seem like I'm too important even to talk. Right? No one knows what I'm thinking. As far as the estate agent concerned, I'm just some cool dude with short arms and deep pockets. Yeah. Yeah. No. No? No, but it's him you've got to please. What do you think? No one knows what he's thinking. He doesn't even know what he's thinking. I know. He knows. Yeah. Came to learn you to find out. And don't charge him too much, because he's got a tiny little arms and so he can't reach his pocket. Oh, that's not what I said, is it? No. Oh, uh, I've got short arms and deep pockets. Should we have a look round the rest of the flat? Mm. What? Find a problem, remember? Sorry, I can mm. see some problems. Problems? Like what? Uh oh, um this corner here. Sharp corner. What if he um runs into that while he's playing? Playing? Playing. Well no, what what she means is 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 play I I'm a player, you know, like a, a playboy. Oh, yeah, yeah, but uh, but don't worry, there'll be no trouble. You know, settle down now, respectable. No more chasing the girls. Yeah, so he was always chasing the girls. Mm. Was he? Yeah, but not on a scary little rapey way. And he wouldn't do anything if he caught them. I mean, there's nothing of any importance he could reach on a girl anyway, unless they fell over while he was chasing them, then he could touch them everywhere. Yeah, I am. Um... Why don't we have a look round? Yeah. Shall we just, um, to, oh, there's a kitchen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all, all more cons. And assisted oven. Okay. Fridge freezer, very big, lots of room. Is this microwave radioactive? Sorry? Oh, microwave radioactive? What's that? That's a drainer for plates. Uh, do you like your job? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, especially when you're showing flats like this. At the point that we do take the house, mm -hmm, flat, mm -hmm. do you think that um, at any point we'd be able to have some kind of, like, moving in kind of ceremony? Do you mean, like, cutting the ribbon at the door? No, I mean, like, a ceremony, a kind of blessing of the flat. Yes, I, I'm sure that would be, that would be fine. Here's another problem. What? Another problem. Hey, look. Flag it out. Oh. <clears throat> um, excuse me, I found another problem. What's that? Can you see the problem here? He's, um, too short. No, I'm not too short. It, it's too high. For you? It's fine for us, look. Yeah, well, you won't be living here, will you? It'll have to be changed. Yeah, sure, sure. Sorry, did you mind if I just use the toilet? Yep. Thank you. Nice little communal garden. Oh, here. yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, it's quite private actually. Nobody could come out here. I tell you what, you know, um, if we get um, this place sorted mm -hmm. properly, mm -hmm. 
Uh, we could get some tracks down and uh, we could have a little sports day event for him and his friends, for Warwick and his friends. Yeah, we could that's do great. some relay races. Yeah. Um, yep. Anything. We could do hopscotch. Yeah. You don't get any sort of, like, things in here that are going to eat him or anything. No, no, no. No. It's fine. It's very, very safe. But, I mean, are you We've sure? We've got the exit over there. Because it's my job to make sure it's safe. Table meeting at Sue's request. She's started divorce proceedings. I can't afford a lawyer, so I'm being represented by my accountant. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Sue's solicitor, Ian Wold. And you are? Uh, he's my solicitor. <laughs> Not really. You can't afford a solicitor. I'm his accountant. <laughs> I have to advise you that you really should retain a proper qualified solicitor. Yeah, we did actually study law as well. Yeah, one term at the University of Bolton. I haven't heard of that school. Did it used to be a polytechnic? No, I think it used to be a laundrette. <laughs> no, seriously, it was a shithole, but uh, I wasn't cut out for law anyway too hard. Do you know what I'd really like to do? You know those big rigs that you get in America? I'd like to get behind the wheel of one of them and, and just drive cross country and sort of imagine myself driving along and, and singing old shack and driving straight through it and wood and chickens flying <laughs> everywhere and people shouting, hey, sorry. look at that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Can we just put your dreams on hold for now and then focus on Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, so, what's the usual split about? Half and half? Well, that's what we're here to negotiate. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. Um, so... I'm not seeing this as a final chapter. I'm seeing this as a chance to listen to her complaints, make amends and start again. Depending on what those complaints are. And if it's leaving the toilet seat up, then yeah, fine. I won't do it again. If it's bus dry harder in the bedroom, then forget it, I couldn't. I've been working my bloody socks off, love. I'll have a coronary. You know, any more effort on my part and you're gonna open your eyes to a dead dwarf slumped on you. There's loads of jobs I'd like to do before accountancy. River police. Oh, river police. How do you get into being river police? I'd love to do that, you know. Oh, what's that? Dead body. Get it out. It's a tramp. He's been murdered, looks like it. He's been raped. We don't know. So, Sue says you're a famous actor. Well, you tell me. Well, I've not heard of you. Are you a famous actor? Yes. Sue says you've been in some films? Some films. Possibly. Have you heard of some films like Star Wars and Return of the Jedi? Yes. Yeah, and uh, the Harry Potter films. Have you heard of those? Yes. And uh, have you heard of a film called Willow? No. No. No, I've never heard of Willow. Were you in that? I was the star of that, yes. No, I've never heard of Willow. Right. Not many people have, to be honest. It was not a success. It was a success. Mm, not really. Return of the Jedi, that was a massive success. I was in that. What were you in that? I was an Ewok. So your face was covered up? Well, yes, it was, yes. But I don't it... remember seeing you in Harry Potter either. Yeah, I was Professor Flitwick. You couldn't really see space. I mean, if you'd seen Willow, then my face was in that all the way through. As I said before, I've not seen Willow nor even heard of it. No. And as I said, no one has, so don't feel too bad. Uh, have you heard of a, a little show called The Office? Were you in that? Yeah, no, but I was in extras made by the same blokes. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, I didn't like extras. It was just a sitcom where famous people popped up as themselves. Well, then I must be pretty famous then, or they wouldn't have had me in it. Mm, yeah, it wasn't clear if you were supposed to be famous or not. I mean, did they even mention your name? You were a prop. Basically, you're a prop. Sorry, why are we discussing my CV? Can we just get back to this? We are still trying.
trying to lobby the government to fund our community outreach programme. And uh, some people have asked me how you can get involved. Well, we do need some volunteers to leaflet outside Parliament this Saturday. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, actually. Um, never mind about doing something for no money that's never going to change anything anyway. I'm looking for a couple of volunteers, because uh, my lot have got a bit militant lately, and uh, I've got a gig this Saturday, Students' Union, £150 cash in hand. Yeah, I mean, all it is is you're a human bowling ball, basically. So you're in your pants, you're greased up, slung along the floor by some pissed-up students. Yeah. Easy money. Warwick, sorry. I don't think this is the right place to recruit for something like that. Well, this is a perfect place. There's loads of dwarves here. And what I mean is, you're the vice chairman. You're a spokesperson for little people, and yet when we're trying to get things like dwarf tossing banned from rugby clubs and university rag weeks, you're the one hiring out those dwarfs to be thrown. I want people to see a little person, wonder if he's a doctor or a lawyer, not wonder which cannon he's going to be fired from today. The trouble with Anthony Braden is he's giving little people false hopes. You know? I've seen him say to young dwarfs in there, oh, you can be an astronaut, you can be a doctor. No, they can't. They're too small. I'm not going to be a doctor. I mean, a proctologist, maybe. Oh, and then he'll be on his high horse again. No, why can they only be proctologists? Because the only thing they can reach is the arse. And, and I'll have all these disillusioned dwarves crawling back to me. Oh, don't want to spend me days doing that. I want to be in the movies. Well, no, you're too late. You had your chance. Now get back to those arses. Warwick, it worries me that maybe you're not the best spokesperson for our community and for our needs. Maybe you're not the right person. Hmm? Maybe there's a grassroots uprising that says, the old guy's lost it, let's have some new blood. Maybe I should be in the chairman's chair. Everyone's entitled to run for this position. Let's do it then. Right. I hereby declare myself running for office, and I second that. You can't second yourself. No? All right, then who seconds me? Come on. See? They don't know what time of day it is. I'll second you, Warwick. Really? Yes, and we'll let democracy decide for the vote next week. And will they decide that? I mean, will they remember? Are they even awake? Sorry to bother you. Can I get a picture? Yeah, sure. Anything for a fan. Fan? Yeah. Fan of what? Fan of me. Why, who are you? Roy Davis, obviously. Famous actor. Well, if you don't know who I am, why do you want a picture? Because it's funny, isn't it? A dwarf carrying a box. You don't see that round here. Actually, do you mind if I film you? Why? Because that's even funnier. No, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does look funny, actually. Sorry, um, we're filming. No, we're not filming. Yeah, we are. It's running. So you're moving in round here? I'm having second thoughts. We'll be neighbours. Excellent. Still filming, then, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so going on YouTube. Definitely. Not definitely, no. <laughs> You don't live here anymore? It's still my house, though. So you, you're enjoying it, then? Enjoying the house? Enjoying my house? It's lovely. Good. What um, did you want? No, I just popped round to, uh, to get, um, a baseball cap. A yeah. gift from Mr Ron Howard. Who's Ron Howard? It's the director of Willow. Oh, I've not seen it. Yeah, he said. I'll get you the DVD. Sorry. Are <laughs> you wearing slippers? Yes. Is it normal practice to be around a client's house doing paperwork wearing slippers? Everyone's different. What lawyer wears slippers? I've just never seen that before. On LA Law, they didn't wear slippers. Perry Mason never had slippers on. Even when he played Ironside, he never had slippers on, and he was in a wheelchair. He didn't even need shoes, and he still wore shoes. You should probably get going, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Um, are you leaving, too? Yeah. No. Just no. 
No more information? Just leaving soon, or...? What difference does it make, Warwick, if he's going now or later? Because we're both drivers. So, well, let's drive. Shall I just wait outside for you? No need. Do we...? Yeah. Don't forget this. Skype call coming through and it's, uh, well, what can we do for you? Advice, really. Right. Um, I'm a bit worried about my wife and her lawyer. I think there might be something going on between them. What, the lawyer who's representing your wife while she sues you for divorce? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Which is my point. I don't know why you care anymore. Well, OK. Slippers. In what way? Oh! Hi, Steve. Hello. How's it going, man? Steve. Um, thanks for doing this. Uh, you obviously got my email um, about the guest appearances. I'm not just saying this because I've got a financial stake in the show. Uh, I really think it'd be good for your career to do the occasional guest appearance in the office. Yeah, obviously, uh, you, still, you know, still do your films and everything as well. Obviously. Of course. But, you know, if you did agree to even infrequent guest spots, the network said they would guarantee two more seasons, um, which is... Obviously, incredibly lucrative yeah. uh, for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? Let me think about it. I will definitely consider it. Cheers, man. Great. Brilliant. We're in LA um, Thursday. If you want to do dinner and have a chat. Oh yeah, that sounds great. I'd love to. Brilliant. See you then. See ya. Okay. Good. See you later. Bye. Bye. I must say, makes me laugh a bit that he's a household name because of the show, and now I've got to beg him to do the odd guest spot. He should be begging me. <laughs> Luckiest fucking actor in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you still there, Steve? Yep. Sorry, man. I, I, thought, I'd, uh, I thought I'd hung up. No. No, you didn't. I just turned the screen off. I thought I'd hung up. I really, um... Do you still want to do dinner? Be awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be. Are you going to think about the guest appearances? Ah, oh, no. Dead in the water, that one. It is. It's definitely dead. There's no way that's going to happen. Okay, cheers. Bye then. Bye. Bye bye now. Why were you listening? I tell you why he was listening. Because he's an actor. And like all actors, he's a little paranoid, insecure little fucker. Are you still listening, Steve? Oh, I am. I am still listening to you talking. OK. You shouldn't be listening, not if you're not friends anymore, mate. OK. S Steve, before you go, I'm, I'm a big fan. Hey, that's really nice. Thanks. You could always hang up this time to make absolutely sure. That's true. OK. Bye. Right, he's gone. That's the Is difference. It yeah, definitely, yeah, because I was pressing the wrong thing. Love Steve Carell. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves him, though. Not really, no. Mm. Bit of an idiotic thing to say. With six billion people on the planet, how are they all going to love one person? A lot of them do. I mean, look at the American said. version of The Office. Yeah, Every you week, look at it. What is it, ten million viewers, I guess? Ten million people. Watching him. Tune in and see my name at the end of the credits. Watch it for him, though, don't they? Not really, no, because it wouldn't exist without me and he wouldn't exist without it, ipso facto. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Well, all right, well, he, he's got likability, then, as he's, he's just a popular chap. You're more of an acquired taste. Not everyone's into everything you do. My cameraman, right, absolutely hated extras. Just thought it was a sitcom where famous people pop up as themselves. Just saying, not everyone's into everything you do. Sorry, Wyatt, I've forgotten why you're here again. Maybe it's the fact that I've just lost twenty million dollars on the new syndication deal. But go on. What? what, what I've mean? I mean, just. I was talking about my wife and and a, a lawyer. How, how can I be sure there's nothing going on between them? You can't. You're getting a divorce. Move on. I mean, what are you going to do? Camp outside the house, spying on them like inch eye, private eye. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're, you're right. That's, I'm being silly.
All right. Cozy. The slippers. Warwick. What? What are you doing here? Just want to get some of my belongings. Like what? Like my, um, what did I say? Oh, yeah. They're my award there from uh, Guts.com, one of the Internet's most respected horror movie websites. What did you win? Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor in an independently funded British horror movie. Is it possible to win Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you play both Midge, the lovable children's clown, and his lycanthropic Siamese twin. <laughs> what? You don't know what that means, do you? Lycanthropy, yes, it means he changes into a wolf. You play both parts. Yeah, it's easy. Um, when uh, they were both normal, I play both characters using a split screen effect. Uh, and when one of them changes into a wolf, they just strap me to a dog. What was the film called? Weredwarf. Haven't seen it. What have you seen? Sorry, just sorry. Do you really need this award right now? Yes, I do. Would you like me to get it down for you? No. I can get it. No. It's fine. I can manage. Get it down for you. Oh. It'd be fine if it been on that shelf. I don't know why it's that high up. It's ridiculous. Would you want me to put it on that shelf? Well, are we going to put it on that shelf anyway? Yes, I, I was going to put it on that shelf later. Right, well, if you're going to put it there anyway, then, yeah, put it there now, of course. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I can't reach it. Can I ask Ian to get it for me? Well, if he just hands it to you, yes. Can you just... Hand this to me, please. Oh, Here. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Right, put it where you want to put it. Right. right. Put it there. Right, good. It's on that shelf now. That's where it is. It's go carry on with your tea. Right. Good. Um, what did I come for? Um, oh, yeah. There it is. I'll just take that out. Good. Yeah. If you re-elect me, one of my main priorities will be to make the SPSS a practical resource for training, for support, for information. And now I urge you to use your votes wisely. Thank you. Good. Well, um, you've heard his speech. Uh, no comment on that. Um, you know I can get you anything you want. Let me show you what I can do. All right? Who remembers Right Said Fred? Yeah? And, and number one? I'm too sexy for that. I'm too sexy for this. Car, cat, whatever. Do you remember? Definitely remember. Well, please welcome live here tonight. It's Right Said Fred. How's it going? Busy? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty busy, yeah. Good, yeah. good. Uh, we're friends, are we? Yeah, we've got uh, our mutual friends, for sure. I yes, we do. Right. Yes, we do. Wow. Any questions about this? Right, said Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm. Yeah. In 
interesting fact, actually, that right said Fred. Um, that one's Richard. He does all the singing. The other one's Fred. We worried people might get confused at all? No, it's never been an issue for us, no. So what's what's going on tonight? You gigging? What? No, we just we just thought we'd go home, to be honest. Night off. I want to say, friend. Are they going to sing? Are you? Well, no, you just said pop in, mate. That's what you said. Great, yeah. yeah. You see, that's that's what you get from me. Just just pop ins from famous people. You know, so. Who knows who's going to show up next week, if you vote for me? Why, well, right, Gary? Don't be absurd. So, I'm Too Sexy was number one in America. It was, yeah. yeah. Right. We were the first British band since the Beatles to get to number one with a debut single. What? Yeah. S since the Beatles? Wow! Come on! Ch Let's vote now. Come on. Votes for Warwick Davis. Let's... Yes, one. Any more? Two there. Come on! Does this count for nothing? The Beatles! I think there's a lot of abstentions. We don't know that yet, Warwick. And votes for me now, please. OK. Seems pretty conclusive. Should we call this a night? Can I have your autograph? Yeah, 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 sure. Definitely not. You vote for him. Get his autograph. No, I'm sorry, mate. We're gonna... We'll just shut, we'll shut up. Yeah. Where do you stand on condoms? We don't approve. Not a problem for me at the minute. I'm not getting any. Will these Johnnies fit a dwarf? Why? I've got one here. Do you know a John? No. No, you don't know a John. Want to go out with me sometime? No. Is it Jack? Is it Jack? Is it Joseph? Do you want to take the card in case you need a new accountant? No. Right. Stuart says you're worried about something. Desperate lads, are you sure you're not doing any more extras? You've said we're not Quite doing sure. the office then. Oh, no, definitely. The American not. office. Warwick, listen, well, man. Can you write okay. me a film? What film? Well, I don't know, you have the idea. Can we have the idea a bit later? Because we're snowed under at the moment, mate. We've got about a thousand things to do this afternoon. Yeah, all right, yeah, sorry. And it's yeah. so, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Right. Fuck off, Les. Bye.